You may notice when uploading a JPEG or PNG image file into Cricut Design Space, it will appear as a single color silhouette of your image or as a print and cut. So how do you create a cut file with all the colors separated onto different layers? Well, that's exactly what this video is for. I'm going to show you how easy it is to convert a single layer image file into a multi-layered SVG cut file. Let's start by converting a JPEG or PNG into an SVG file. Avoid using an image with a lot of shading because they are more difficult to convert. For best results, you'll want to look for a solid colored image. This image has a white background, so I'm going to use remove.bg to remove the background. Then I'm going to visit png to svg.com. I'll pop links to these websites in the description below. Scroll down and locate your image file. This panel allows you to select how many colored layers you'd like to convert to. I'm going to reduce the number of colors to three. Click generate and the website will convert your image to a three layered SVG. Once ready, click download SVG. Head on over to Cricut Design Space and click upload. Locate your SVG file. It will typically look like an internet icon. Select cut image and click upload. Highlight your image and click add to canvas. Here's our cute Pooh Bear on our canvas. And you'll notice on the right hand side layers panel, there are three layers shown. We're going to click on our image and click ungroup, which will separate the layers so I can drag them to the side. You'll notice that there are a lot of extra dots on our layers. So I'm going to show you how to clean these up. Let's start with the black background. We want to make this a solid piece so we can layer the red and yellow on top. Click on the black layer, then click contour in the bottom right hand corner. When it loads, click hide all contour. Click away from the contour box and it will leave you with just the silhouette. Next up, let's do the red layer. Click contour and when it loads, Click hide all contours, which will highlight just the shirt, removing everything else. We also want his mouth included, so click the contour again, then click these little mouth pieces, which will also cut from red vinyl. We also need to click these little lines in the shoulder area, so Cricut cuts those out too. Now for his fur, we're going to hide all contours, then click the pieces we want to keep, ensuring you also click the facial features so Cricut cuts these out as well. Check that you're happy with your layers by dragging them over. You'll notice here I missed a spot between his legs on the black layer. So I'm just going to go into contour and remove that part. Click make it once you're happy and we can see we have a yellow mat, a red mat and a black mat. Let's make a layered cut file from a colouring in page. Find a colouring in page that you like. You'll want to choose one with thick lines. I've chosen this Winnie the Pooh with balloons. Upload it into Cricut Design Space. Remove the background by clicking the white space areas using the magic wand tool. Click cut and add to canvas. We're going to make the black background first, so duplicate your image in the top right hand corner. Click contour and hide all contours which will create your black silhouette layer. Next, we're going to make the red layer. So duplicate your drawing, click contour, hide all contours. Then we're going to click on the parts we want to cut out in red. So the balloons and the shirt. Don't forget to click on the lines in his shirt so these are also cut out. You will need to click at the very top silhouette of your image so this part is also removed. When you click away, you'll be left with the shirt and balloons in a black color. 
To change the colour, so Cricut places it on a separate cutting mat, go up to the top here and change it to red. We're then going to do the fur. So duplicate our original layer, click contour, hide all contours and then click all of the fur parts. Now if we don't also click on the facial features, Cricut won't cut these areas out, so be sure to do that as well. Colour the fur yellow at the top of design space, then assemble your layers to make sure you're happy with the placement. Now let's do the bottom of his feet in orange. So click on our final layer, click contour, hide all contours, then click the feet area. Be sure to click the top silhouette as well so this isn't included. Then we can change the colour to orange. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you'd like to learn how to layer vinyl, be sure to click on this video above.